Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna do a little bit on the Garden Railroad out in my backyard at my parents' house. So since the last time I did a video, it was very bare. I think there's just dirt out. Today it, it's come pretty far. I haven't been able to work on it a whole lot, but a lot more than I used to. So turning around and looking, uh, we've got all the track laid out and a little bit of ballast we tried. Uh, it didn't work out too well, but overall it's come a lot further than what it has before laid some rock, some different type of rock down here, getting track work down and everything like that. Um, so the video today is actually, this is special because it's being shot on the brand new GoPro Hero 7 Black with 4K and stabilization. Uh, so I'm really excited about this video coming out. Uh, today we're going to start extending the layout from here, bringing it all the way down, moving, moving these rocks right here, and br bringing the layout all the way down around here over beside the playground equipment right there. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna come down, it's gonna go around the tree, and it's just gonna come straight back up to this track over here. It's real simple, not super complex, but I'm excited to get the layout, the track extended from the main area way out over here so that we can run a lot longer trains and multiple at one time. So with that being said, and a little preview of what's going on, I've invited my really good friend, I'd say best friend actually, uh, Zach, uh, who is also part of the train club with me, he's an O-scaler, but he enjoys doing the Garden Railroad with me. And so I've invited him down to help me, and so we're going to do a time lapse of everything going on. So I'm really excited to see how it turns out, and hopefully we can get this done today. All right, so what we're doing here is, we, right now we've laid the uh, track. We haven't bolted anything together, so it's just sitting there kind of roughly how it'll be. Went out and bought these uh, blocks. I was hoping for gray, but they're out, so that red is the next best. Um, we're gonna put the track over this, and then it's going to make, make this level, and so everything's nice and clean. We'll bolt the track together, set it on here, and that should be pretty much it. The red doesn't bother me. I was planning on spray painting them dark brown to match the soil, but uh, I think the red will be okay because right down here at the bottom there are green plants that grow, and then the, the soil is the brown color, and then I think the red will kind of accentuate, kind of pop out a little bit and add a little bit of color to that area so it doesn't blend in too much. So I think it'll look okay, but we'll see how it turns out. So now we've got these, let's get to laying and let's get to bolting. So we now have gotten all of the track laid down and it's now all bolted together. So there should be, in theory, electricity able to run uh, throughout the whole layout and down to here. We don't have any feeders yet. Um, the next step is going to be all of the red brick that we laid down here is to uh, start leveling it so that the track doesn't have any weird imbalances in any places and it's smooth operation all the way around and then able to go back up onto the layout as it would usually. Now what has been going on is that uh, the train's been running around the layout down here and then right this track right here is where it usually was continuing and we had these two switches in place right there and over there for future and so I wanted to get this done and so I did it. <laughs> So I have the track running down here, down around the tree, back up to here, so that it can be a big, big loop and we can run two, three trains pretty long and not have to worry and constantly watch about running into each other.
right, guys, that completes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I haven't done a G-Scale video for quite some time. If you go through my videos and stalk my channel, you'll notice I haven't done one since probably around 8th grade, I think, if not before. So it's been quite some years. Uh, but the G-Scale layout has definitely taken some progress. Uh, not as much as I'd like, but definitely more than, more than you know, I thought would happen. Uh, it was just now spring break, and so I haven't gotten any of the buildings out or anything. I just wanted to get that track laid. That was my goal for spring break, the week I have out of out of college. Um, and I'm pretty happy. I still have a little bit of tweaks to do, but it's all gonna turn out all good. And we can run some long trains and have some fun. Uh, so anyways, like I said, that completes this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, uh, you'll get notifications if you press the little bell of any new updates of videos I do and all that. Uh, don't forget to like and comment on this video as well because doing that shows support and makes me want to make more videos for this channel and make more content. And so doing that just shows me you're here to support me and see all the new content that I create. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, go out to Instagram and search 682charlie. That's the new Instagram I have for this uh, YouTube channel, showing a bunch of train pictures all the time, almost every day if not at least once a week I get to it. But anyways, go give that a follow, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.